Hi, I'm David Marks. And I'm Victoria Marks. Welcome to our school here in Santa Rosa, Northern California. We've got a woodworking school here. It's about 2,200 square foot. And we've got a bunch of different classes going on, some very exciting ones. We're going to be doing one on uh, uh, bentwood lamination, bandsaw and veneers, dovetail box, sculpture class, gilding and chemical patination. We've got a couple of uh, guest instructors, Stu Batty. Stu Batty for turning and Larry Robinson for inlay. Larry does some phenomenal shell inlay. If you've never seen Larry's work before, uh, check out his website. It's Larry Robinson. There's a link through our website. And he, he has done some amazing work with, with shell and various types of exotic materials for inlay. And Stu Batty is also a world-renowned turner. He's coming as a second guest instructor, second year in a row, and he's going to offer an awesome five-day turning class. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun. And uh, by the way, Victoria does make some awesome brownies. Every, tell them about your brownies. Yes, for every <laughs> class at 4 o'clock, it's brownies. Simply brownies, but they're just an extra special treat. What we do for our classes, we try and keep them very small, no more than 3 to 10 students. We want a really quality experience for all the students. This way, David has a lot of time to spend one-on-one -on -one with each student. And students get to know each other. And in addition to learning a great deal, they have a lot of fun. Yeah, so our goal here is to have a, uh, a smaller setting. That way, it's, it's a lot easier for people to absorb the information. And basically, we want to have a, a, a good time. We want to have fun with the students. So it's a relaxed environment. And why don't you join us? We'll take you on a, a stroll through the uh, workshop. And you can check out the classroom in here. Come along with us. This is our classroom here. We have uh, eight of these workbenches. These are all torsion boxes, by the way. You know, really good, solid, heavy-duty workbenches. So these are where the uh, students sit and work. They can do glue-ups on here. They can lay out joinery on here. And basically, it's kind of a fun place for the students to hang out and work. Another thing we offer, in addition to group classes, are private classes, which offers a student to have one-on-one -on -one time with David. So it doesn't matter what the student's skill level is. Uh, David will set up a private class based on the student's skill level, interest, and needs. You can email us and just say what you're interested in, and David will be happy to put together a class for you. And this has worked out really, really well for wives who want to give their husbands a special <laughs> gift, be it for an anniversary, for the big 5-0, the big 5-5, five five, the big 6-0, the big 6-5, the big 7, the big 7. What about the big 21? I mean, <laughs> we take younger students, too. Yeah, and, so uh, it's just a really great feature to have access to David. And again, even for novice woodworkers, it's a wonderful opportunity. So we don't want anyone to feel intimidated or that they're overreaching. This is great to get some great hands-on instruction one-on-one -on -one from a really great instructor. Gee, you sound like you're married to me or something. <laughs> and there's a lot of flexibility in scheduling these. You can schedule it from one to five days. We can schedule it over a weekend. We can work around that kind of thing. So yeah. again, just email us and look at our website, www.djmarks.com. If you go to the classes section, you'll see the classes we're currently offering. Plus, there'll be a photo gallery. You can look at classes that have happened in the past. Plus, at our homepage and our website, you can go to the YouTube button and look at all different clips from different classes to get a sense of what it's like being here for visit with David. Yeah, it's a safe, uh, fun working environment. So I'd like to also show you a couple other projects that I'm working on. Here's a uh, piece that I'm doing. This is a uh, double bevel marquetry uh, piece. And this is, um, this is an example of a more uh, complex piece. But when the students come out and they do a class on, on marquetry and inlay, I do teach them this technique. Uh, they're always surprised that they can pick it up in a weekend. It looks complicated, but it's essentially a very doable technique. Over here is another project that I'm working on. This is a uh, section of a larger vessel. This is going to eventually be a piece that's about three feet tall. All this is curly koa, and it's got uh, splines out of wingi. And this will be probably something that's going to Hawaii. Also in the classroom, uh, I have examples of, of joinery and all kinds of other interesting things for students to look at. Say, for example, somebody wants to learn about, uh, you know, different types of joints. I have, I have models and examples on display so I can, you know, share other information from them other than what, you know, the class that they've signed up for. So, in other words, they're not just getting the class, they're getting all the extras from various things that are around there. You know, here's some uh, examples of some various pieces of exotic wood. This is a cutoff from some veneer stock of some really spectacular bubinga. This is a uh, quilted bubinga with some sapwood in it. Now down here, I've got my latest award-winning masterpiece. 
Now this is a piece that I, uh, I just finished doing this past summer. It was on display at the Sonoma County Museum for the Artistry and Wood Show. And I'm proud to announce that this piece won Best Turning. Um, so this is a, it's a tall vessel. It's uh, 16 inches tall. It's on a stand that I've built out of ebony. There's a, a lid also out of ebony with a four-sided, you know, beveled uh, top on it. The uh, vessel itself is uh, removable from the stand. And it's a hollow vessel. So for students to take my hollow vessel turning class this summer, we learn how to turn a, a smaller version of this and also some of these, um, these gilding techniques that I'm doing. This one's a hybrid of uh, gilded metals with some gold leaf, gold leafed leaves in there and a uh, scraffito technique. So as I come up with new techniques, I share these with the students and the students have their own ideas and basically we all kind of learn together. I always tell the students that I, I consider myself a lifelong student. Now this vessel will stand up by itself, but I don't want to trust that it's going to stand by itself. So I, uh, I went the extra distance and built a stand for this. This stand is a bentwood lamination out of ebony. Uh, these legs, each leg has five laminations to it, tapered from 3 seconds of an inch at the top down to 1 32nd of an inch at the foot. So these feet taper out to be just a little bit over an eighth of an inch thick. They're joined to the rings. The rings are a segmented um, lamination. There's three of those glued together in sort of a brick laid fashion. And then there's these ivory buttons on here that are uh, locking the joints together. So a lot of fun stuff to look at. And, um, you know, when people come out here, they, uh, they're welcome to bring their cameras, take pictures. We have all kinds of stuff to show them. Yes, they get to enter our creative chaos environment because there's always stuff going on. There's always projects in progress and <laughs> different bits of inspiration on the walls, on the countertops, everywhere. So it's just sort of like a woodworking playground. You might call it that. <laughs> Let's go check out the rest of the playground. Now, one of the, the values of some of the classes that I teach is that uh, oftentimes I get people, and pardon the pun, but they, they like to work and think inside the box. And as our uh, friend Albert Einstein once said, once said, imagination is more important than knowledge. So um, knowledge is, is very accessible to a lot of people. We have the internet these days. You can Google just about anything that you want to learn. But one of the, the things that people struggle with is creativity. So when they come here, we kind of get them to loosen up a little bit, think outside the box, and just sort of play with the, uh, the idea of exercising their imagination. In addition to getting a lot of skills and walking away with a new skill group, which they will get a new skill set, it's supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be a release, it's supposed to be um, something different from the stresses of their everyday life. We have a lot of folks who come here who are doctors, lawyers, accountants, all walks of life with very There's stressful police jobs. Police officers, uh, military guys, carpenters, plumbers, I mean you name it, but the one common thread is they love woodworking. And they get together here as a group, they totally enjoy each other, and they get to play. That's why we call it a little bit of a woodworking playground. They get to relax and play. There's no right or wrong way in terms of the creative design they come up with. Dave will advise them as to how technically feasible it is, but basically it's a place to really relax and enjoy yourself and get back to that playful yeah. mode. 